Yeah, you can't. Ooh, you're part of the Thieves Guild. No wonder you stole that staff, you sneaky bitch. Hey there guys, we new here and welcome back to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Oblivion? I sound like John Lennon right there or something. A Ringo. Anyways, I got back to where we were in between episodes, the ring of burden and all that bullshit, so here we are back where we were. I have it. I'm afraid some things have happened while you've been gone, associate. It may affect your recommendation. What? I'll admit, it's my doing. I couldn't leave well enough alone. And after you'd left to go after that ring, well... I'm just so tired of the way we've all been treated by Falkar. I was worried about you and angry about Vidkun, so I confronted Falkar directly. He was furious when I told him I'd helped you. And then when I threatened to report him to the Council of Magus, I thought he was going to kill me. He flew into a rage. I didn't even understand some of his ranting, but he said that our days are numbered, and then he stormed out. I don't know if he ever wrote your recommendation. I'm sorry. I didn't expect this to happen. Perhaps you should go look and see if he did write one. You should check his room in the living quarters. If you see the note or anything else unusual, let me know. I'll gladly send it to the council. Oh, just drop it anywhere. I don't think he really cared about it. I think it was some sort of sick joke on his part. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh. Have you found... Vitkin. It's such a shame. Yeah. Oh, boy. Anyway. He's seeing you. Tired of carrying that piece of shit around. Anyways, uh, it kind of spoiled it for myself because I actually did manage to sneak into his room um, during this time, and it was funny. By the way, I found a Nern root down in the cave with Vidkin in the ring. If you go the other direction, there's a Nern root behind the rock, and I was like, sweet. But uh, I already broke into his room earlier because <laughs> uh, I caught him coming out, so I went in as he was going out, and I stole a bunch of like you know spells and stuff off here and things like that. But I didn't uh, search too in-depthly. And um, what's funny is the door closed behind me, and you get locked in here. You can't get out unless he opens the door. So I had, to, <laughs> I had to sit in here and wait for him to come back and open the door so I could get out. It was all bad. Now, I don't see anything that's out of the ordinary for this. Argonian account. He's got two black soul gems. That's interesting. I didn't even notice those the first time. Holy cow. Oh, I guess those are what I needed to find. There's no evidence of a recommendation, but I found black soul gems. I should take them to deets on immediately. Black soul gems are like one of those things where it's like, This person's evil! If they have them. Who's casting spells? Why do you keep casting spells? What's this? Black soul gems? Oh dear, this is worse than I'd expected. Alright, I'll just take these from you. I'll need them for my report to the council. Now, you didn't find any sort of recommendation? Very well. I shall write one myself and include it in my report to the council. In light of the circumstances, I believe they'll find it more than adequate. Sweet. Goodbye. Damn, I don't get to keep those black soul gems. That'd be pretty useful. I don't know. Okay, so that is Chaydenal out of the way. Now let's continue to Braville to get their recommendation. I suppose in this episode we'll just finish out the rest of the recommendations that we need to get. Man, Braville's that city that I was like, do they even have a mage's guild? They got a fighter's guild. Not that I need to go there yet. Or actually, I think I've already been there. I'm not 100% sure anymore. Where have I been? Where am I going? Yes. Sorry. Is this it? Is this your mages guild? What is this? Foxglove? This is. You don't even have banners or anything outside, man. There's always someone casting some stupid ass spell. Well met, guild. You. Hello there, associate. 
You're here for a recommendation, I presume. Are you prepared to earn it? Are you sure you weren't at the last guild? I'm afraid I haven't had time to prepare anything conventional. I'm very preoccupied with this situation concerning Ardalin. What? Perhaps you can help with that, however. I can't directly get involved for fear of embarrassing the poor girl. I'll need you to have a little chat with Varen Vamori, and you can learn something about the power of illusion in the process. Sweet. Okay. I don't understand it. Some ridiculous male thing, I suppose. He's been bothering Ardeline every day for a while now. He even stole her mage's staff. Whoa. Perhaps he thinks it's amusing. I don't know. But it needs to stop. It's making her miserable. I feel like this is... Be seeing you. Hello, associate. You're the one who got their staff stolen. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Are you Hold ready on. to... Yeah. Why do I gotta go through that whole day again? It's more symbolic than practical, but each carries great significance to its owner. You're going to get Arteline's staff back. Take this charm scroll. With it, you should find Varon more receptive to questioning. Don't come back without that staff. Ooh. Make sure Varon hands over that staff. Who's Varon? You, Varon? No. Second floor. Don't need to go up there. Who, who among you is, is devoted? It, you got corn, man. Nice alchemy shop. Got lots of stuff. Alright, to the second floor we go. Okay, so we're looking for a man in a box. Named Varen. Big old empty room. That's an interesting door. Looks like it was made by like a five year old in this engine though. Man. You guys have got a lot of food. Okay, to the third floor we go. Nothing. Whenever I see those purple books, I always think it's a Mythic Dawn book. I'm always like, oh! Thanks. Okay, so... Who the fuck is Varen? Oh, he's just some guy out in the world. Well, I wish I knew that! <laughs> he, uh, he... Fantastic. Very good. I've been sitting here thinking that he's like, uh, you know, a part of the guild, but I guess he's not. How goes it? I guess he's in this inn. You're Varen, aren't you? Jean Pierre Lemonans. You. you are. Can I help you? Yeah, you can't. Ooh, you're part of the thieves' guild. No wonder you stole that staff, you sneaky bitch. I know all about you now, because I'm part of the Thieves' Guild. Yes, I sort of know her. W well, I mean, I don't really know her, but I've talked to her some. I feel like he's potentially one of my uh, fences in the future. Beguile. Shadow Heart. Oh. There you go. Hello, friend. What can I do for you? Anything I want. I don't know what to say. All I want is for her to care about me, to feel the same way as I do about her. But she doesn't. I try and I try, and it just doesn't matter. It makes me furious sometimes. Okay. I've never laid a hand on her, either in anger or... I've never hurt her, okay? All right. Where is the stuff? All right. I admit it. I took it from her. I I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. I was trying to tell her how I feel, again, and she wouldn't even stop to talk to me. I just got so angry. I was a little ashamed afterwards, but I didn't know how to apologize or give it back. I wish I could. I'm afraid I don't have it anymore, you see. I, I sold it to a friend of mine. Saurus Aranum. 
Uh huh. He lives in the Talos Plaza district of the Imperial City. He's the one who has Ardalene staff now. Tell Ardalene I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, I gotta pass along the news. I thought I'd just go straight to the Imperial City and kick some butt. Guess not. I wonder if I'm gonna have to pay, like, a consequence for screwing over a member of the Thieves Guild like that, but I don't know. I doubt it. Anyways, back to the not so lucky Mages Guild of this town. Hello, Associate. What's going on? Any luck talking with Varen Vermor yet? It should be no trouble at all once you use that scroll. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Varon Vamori should give it to you once you've persuaded him, if you understand me. Except he gave it to someone. He sold it, huh? Well, this just keeps getting worse. Very well. I presume he gave you some indication of where the staff is now located. Take these and go resolve the situation. And of course, please keep this just between us. Whoa, had to whisper that apparently. Hello, Get that staff back, associate. Three beguiles. I got all the beguiles in the beguile. All the beguiles in the owls. <laughs> Been waiting to say that. Okay. So to the Talos Plaza district we go. So that I may beguile some people into revealing the location of the Isle of the Beguile to my mind die I don't know Saurus on him where's your staff the staff that the man sold you what is it read any good okay books? so you're married good or day, something stranger Saurus Aranim is my name Aranim sorry yes I have the staff Varen sold me I'm afraid I'm not willing to part with it I paid good money for it after all you understand of course no no, not really, I don't. So, I'm going to beguile you into the Isles of the Beguile. What can I do for you? Tell me where it is. As much as I like you, friend, I'm just... What? Be seeing you. But I charmed you. What do you want? As much as I like you, friend. All right. I have to bribe you even more that than that? get you something. Look, I can't just give it to you. I paid good money for it, after all. I'll tell you what. You give me at least a portion of what I paid. No. Say 200 gold, and I'll give you the staff. That's a good deal, right? I wouldn't offer it to anyone else, just you. So, what do you say? No. Are you sure? Well, think about that offer, friend. I say that because, first off, I don't want to give the asshole 200 gold to do this, but I can, however, possibly attempt to steal it from him. Galerion, the mystic. Do you guys go to bed ever? Oh, sorry. I just realized I'm in his house uninvited. So he's gonna follow me until I leave. Alright. Before we break the law in a major way, I'm gonna save. Damn it. Perfect. Uh, okay. Sorry. Does that guy ever sleep? This will be the second time I'm lockpicking this asshole's house. Mm -hmm. Uh. Wow, sleep in separate beds. Like you guys aren't married or something. Oh, well, there's his key. I'm gonna guess he keeps it on his person, but I'm gonna save <laughs> just to check. 
he doesn't. Interesting. He doesn't keep it on his person? Then where does he keep it? Does his wife have it? No. I can steal the pants off of her right now, but I don't want to. Where does he keep it then? In the basement? <sighs> I'll do my best to steal the staff back, but if I can't find it, then we all know what's gonna happen. Manual of armor. I feel like you should learn something from reading that. Doesn't have any of these crates, eh? Not in a sack. Or in a barrel. I'm getting some bad frame rates, I say, as I hit 400 frames per second. Thief of virtue. I knew it. He's a thief, too. Explains how he, knews, how he knows that guy in a hard chest. <laughs> that tells me everything I need to know. Which you are worth stealing from, sir. Because I'm willing to bet that that staff is in here. Urgh. Little did you know, I'm a master thief myself. Booyah. That's true, as I said, booyah. What am I, cyborg? The staff is mine. I've stolen the staff. Good job, me. I'm proud of myself. Found a way out of keeping... <laughs> I found a way to keep 200 gold. I still had to bribe him, though, to get him more on my side, so he actually told me where it was. I probably should have just searched his house rather than bribe him, talk to him, even. Just bribe his ass and steal it. That's what I decided to do. Not the best of plans. Could have avoided the whole bribing thing, is what I'm getting at. Do you have the mage's staff, associate? I feel like she's reading a book to me or something. Ah, wonderful. I shall be most pleased to return this to its rightful owner. Thank you. Oh. You needn't tell me the details of what was involved in getting it. It's perhaps better that I know nothing about it. Your actions for the guild more than merit a recommendation. I shall send it to the university promptly. And to thank you more personally, I shall teach you this spell. You may find it useful in certain circumstances. Thank you. Farewell. Captivate. She taught me Captivate, which is 10 seconds on touch. Huh. Interesting. Buoyancy. I was going to say Buoyancy is School of Alteration, which is the one that I have a focus for a little bit. Um. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I handled that like a boss. Like a true member of the Thieves and Mages Guild would. Although I have broken one of the cardinal rules, which was do not steal from another member of the Thieves Guild. This is another one of the cities where I feel like the Mages Guild is really difficult to find. A bookstore. Don't see those very often. In this game and in real life. Well, I don't know. I was out in Arizona a while back and I saw a lot of bookstores out there. I was like, whoa. Whoa! I just launched that shit off the desk. Sorry. If that was your paper. You're the recommendation lady. Nice to You'll have to speak to Dagale about Fuck you, you tricked me. Let's do business. Buy a spell, eh? Open easy lock. 
I'm pretty sure I have that, right? Ease burden. <laughs> Interesting. <sighs> I offer the finest goods and lowest prices. I don't think I have anything to sell right now, do I? I got a lot of potions and a lot of stuff to make potions with, but I'm not gonna really focus on it. Not yet. <laughs> 